all right, let's make this guy talk, okay? And a lot of times it's referred to lip sync because we want the guy's mouth and lips to match what's being said. So the first part of that is you're going to want to make sure that you record something that's being said, okay? So I've got a practice file in here. So in the projects folder under clips, I've got a dialogue clip here. Hey, say hi to your mother for me. Okay, so that was some voice talent that um, flew in for that. Actually, that is me right there. Okay, so that's what we're going to have the character say. But kind of more important than that. Even, hey, say hi to your mother for me. Is the mouth movement. Okay, so you can see that when I say that, my mouth is moving in a very particular way, and we need to match that to match the sound. So let's kind of talk about how that's done. So what I want to do is I'm going to actually bring this video into Maya, okay, and have it play exactly the same time that I'm keying it. Um, and by the way, I just took my phone and I videotaped myself saying this, and then I emailed it to myself downloaded the video, and then I'm going to go, okay? So before I bring this video in, I have to make it like a flip book, okay, which is kind of um, interesting thought. So what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to go into, um, okay, the clips folder here. I'm just going to create a new folder in here and call this um, sequence. Okay, sequence, um, which is going to be the dialogue uh, sequence here. So I'm going to take this video and make it a flip book so it can be shown frame by frame. And to do that, I'm going to open up After Effects. Okay, this is a, a different program that you're going to need to do this kind of this small step. But if you don't have After Effects, that's okay. You can just use the files that I give you. And Right here, I'm going to go to Intro to Maya. Okay, I'm going to go find it. Clips, there it is. So that's the video file, and I'll import that. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to drag this down to this icon down here, which is the new, um, it's going to create a new composition. But the important part of that is it's going to create a new composition based on the size and the frame rate and everything about it. If we drag it down into this area here, then it's going to take the composition of whatever the composition settings are set to. But by doing it here, it's going to kind of update it automatically. So if I tap the space bar. Hey, say hi to your mother for me. That's the, we can see it. Hey. Stop it. Okay. Now I want to send this out as individual images. So to do that, I'm going to go to Composition, um, Add to Render Queue, Output Module. I'm going to click on here. And notice right here, it's saying it's set to AVI, which is a video format. I want a PNG, or I'm sorry, a JPEG sequence. And I do want audio. Or no, well, let me see here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to bring the audio in independently. So JPEG sequence is good. And then output, I'm going to go and put it into the sequence folder that I made. And one last thing, I'm just going to change this underscore to a period. Okay. Sometimes Maya is kind of finicky about that kind of stuff. And I'll go ahead and hit uncheck that. There we go. And I'll go ahead and hit save. Now when I click render, it's going to play this once through. And what it's doing is it's saving these as individual frames. And I can see here it's frame 0 to frame 179. Okay, and if you're doing your own video, um, it doesn't really matter how many frames it is. Obviously, if you say something longer, it's going to take more frames, and if it's less, you're going to be less frames. But one thing I do want to point out is that um, 
notice if I click back here to dialogue, I can see that by default, this is at 29.96 frames per second or 29.97 if you round up frames per second. And I want that to match in Maya. So in Maya, I'm gonna go into window, settings, preferences, preferences. And then if I go down here to the time slider, I can see that the frame rate, well, in this case was set to 30, but you can see that they do have 29.97. So I'm gonna actually put it at that and hit save. Okay, great. Now I'm ready to um, import that into here and I'll do that on the next lesson. Now that we have our image sequence, let's go ahead and bring that in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a plane. So create polygon primitives plane. And I'm going to scale that up a little bit. And you can see that, you know, was in the center of the character here. And I want to make sure that I don't have any kind of distortion on this plane. So first I'll rotate it up like this. Okay. And then I'm also going to give it only one and one division. There we go. Okay. So to make sure that there's no distortion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look at my images here. And I can see that if I go to um, properties, I can see that under details, I can see that this is 1080 by 1920. Okay, so 1080. Um, so it'd be 1920 tall at by 1080 wide. So here's kind of a cool trick for this. I'm just going to go like this, I'm going to say, okay, this is the width. So instead of doing 1080, it's going to get super big. I'm just going to do 10.80, okay? And then for the height, I'm going to do 19.20. There we go. So that's going to be the exact kind of height and width of it. And now I could um, I could scale it down if I want to, but, it, but it, the proportions are going to be correct, okay? Now, to get that image on there, or I, could, I should say that those sequence on there, I'm gonna do this. Right click, assign new material, Lambert. And then under the tab, Lambert, whatever the, um, you know, this is, looks like my 11th material in the scene because this guy's got some materials on, that's okay. Um, under color, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this checker box right here. And here, I'm gonna just select file. Now I'm going to click on the folder and then I'm going to go find that file. So once again, that file is going to be located in the intro to Maya and in the clips folder under sequence. And there it is. And I'll select the first one and click open. Okay. Awesome. And you can see that if it was just a square, you can see the image would be kind of squished, but I feel like if I look here, I can see that that looks right. Okay. Notice if you have five pressed, you're not going to see it. But if you have six, six is going to show textures. Okay. Great. Now, if I play this or if I scrub through the timeline, you can see that this does not update. Okay. The trick is I need to click on use sequence. Okay. If I click on use sequence, um, and maybe I'm going to start at frame one here, even if I miss out on that first frame, that's okay. There we go. Now, if I hit play, I can see that my video is now in Maya. Okay, that's pretty cool. But notice that there's no sound in Maya. Okay, or at least right now. So that image isn't going to have sound with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to After Effects and I'm going to save this out as an audio clip that Maya can understand. So to do that, I'm going to go Composition, Add to Render Queue. And now it added it to the Render Queue again. So that means I can go to Output Module. And then here, instead of using JPEG sequence, I'm going to do AIFF. OK, that's an audio format. And you can see that here's the audio down here. I'll click OK. And then I'll just click on this here to tell it where to save to. OK, so I'm just going to put this in the Clips folder. And okay, I'll call this, um, I'm going to call this audio 
save, and now hit render. Okay, now I have in my intro to Maya, on my clips, there's the audio. And I can drag that audio down here into the timeline. And assuming that my preferences were set prior to this, I want to make sure that my time slider, yeah, so 29.97, um, it should line up. So let's take a look here if I hit play. Hey, say hi to your mother for me. Okay, looks great. Okay, I can also see the wave format say in the timeline. For me. And if I scroll through, we can sort of see that we can hear it yeah. as hey. well. Say hi to your mother for me. Okay. Okay. Um, and the other thing too, you, you might think, well, I want to put this really close to this guy's face. Uh, but sometimes it can kind of get um, confusing or in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it over here. And then I'm going to have a new camera looking at it. So if I go to Panels, per, um, Orthographic Front, what that's going to do is it's going to new, create a new front camera. And now I'm going to just look. I'm going to come over here and zoom in on this. Okay. And now I'm going to go like this, panel, tear off a copy. And this is cool because now I have the kind of this floating window. I can zoom up on it. And then over here, I'm going to go panels, perspective, perspective. Now you can see that I have this that I can kind of work with. And I, I don't have to worry about that. I can kind of move this off to the side wherever I want. And um, now when I hit play, Hey, say hi to your mother for me. Okay, now I've got my reference right there and I can have this guy as close as I want or I could uh, I could zoom in on this if I want to. Say hi to your mother for me. Okay, great. So I think that um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here now that we have our reference and our sound in. And the next video, I'm gonna start showing how to animate to this.